Oh, I picked a really bad time to start recording this video, dude. I, I really gotta go. Anyways, hello, boys, and welcome back to the heckin' channel, dude. Welcome back, and as you can see, I'm, I'm finally back in my old setup. I'm finally back in my in my beautiful apartment in a, in a beautiful country that isn't a, a third world abomination of a country. That's right, fellas. I finally escaped my confines of being trapped in my in my homeland, the third world country, also known as. Indonesia, aka uh, the land of the spices, aka uh, the home of the rice fields. Welcome to the rice fields, motherfucker! Aka uh, the Dutch East Indies, if you're old enough to get that reference. But anyways, I've been back home in Indonesia for like the past three or four months, which made recording videos literally impossible, dude. I don't have, I, I, I still live in my, my mom's house back home, and recording a video at that house is... It is this impossible? Uh, not that I didn't try to record videos. I did record one video, but to make that one video, it literally took me like two weeks to set everything up properly and to make sure I found a time slot in the day where everyone would just shut up for like 30 minutes. <laughs> Anyways, now that I finally escaped Indonesia, I just wanted to make this video to sort of share with you guys some of my favorite Indonesian news stories. One of my favorite Indonesian phenomenons is Indonesian people naming their literal children after products in hopes of getting said products. It, it's, it's, it's my favorite thing in the world, dude, when people do this. Indonesians naming their kids after products is such a big phenomenon back home. Like I, at, the, at, the, at the top of my head, I can remember two stories, uh, one of which where the dad names his kid after an SUV in hopes of getting the car. I don't know if he actually got the SUV, but uh, let's hope that he did, otherwise he just have a kid named after an SUV for nothing. Anyways, I'm going to be searching for these news articles. Hopefully Google Chrome can translate them, because if it can, then great. And if it can't, then I'm going to have to translate them myself, and that's just, that's just going to be a nightmare. Let's see here. Here's the article. Here's... What the hell is this? Why, why do you have a 55-minute ad on an article, dude? Who... What? Who's gonna be sitting here watching an advertisement for 55 minutes? This is why Indonesia is a third world country, dude. And before you white people in the comment section get offended that I'm making fun of a third world country, I am from that third world country, goddammit. <laughs> See, I proved my point. I'll translate this page right here. Can't translate? What? Come on, dude. I don't wanna have to translate this. Oh. You know what, whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my time in. I haven't made a video in months. I, 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 I have to put a bit of effort into this one. Anyways, here's a picture of the family. That's the dad. That's the uh, the SUV in question. The SUV is called Pajero Sport, and uh, the baby right here. That's that's the that's the poor child who was named Pajero Sport after a. <laughs> Dude, just imagine like being in first grade and the teacher starts calling out your name. It's like, Bobby, here, Timmy, here. Uh, what's this? Pajero Sport? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I feel so bad for this child, dude. Oh my god. If only this little baby knew what pain awaits him. Also, I don't even know if they have Pajero Sports in, uh, in this side of, of the, the world. It's basically just like a family SUV. It's really, it's like, it's really nothing special. Like, you know, it's nothing that I would name. <laughs> it's nothing that I would name a child after. Like, I get it. Sometimes parents want to name their kids after, you know, Porsche if they want their, their, their daughter to be a successful stripper. But at least, at least, you know, a Porsche is a fancy car and Porsche sort of sounds like a name. But Pajero Sport? Are you, fr are you out of your mind? I wonder what like the Western equivalent to a Pajero Sport is. I, I, I live in Vancouver and we don't really, there's not really that many SUVs in the part of town that I live in anyway. So I really don't know what the Western equivalent of this car would be. Ugh. Let's see here, most popular SUV. Let's see here, Jeep Wrangler. <laughs> Imagine naming a kid Jeep Wrangler. I guess that would be like the Western equivalent of this phenomenon. Jeep Wrangler. Hello, is there is there a Jeep Wrangler in class? <laughs> but still, like, Jeep Wrangler kind of sounds like a cool name, dude. What kind of name is Pajero Sport? Chevrolet Equinox? That, that kind of sounds like a cool name. That sort of sounds like something like, you know, uh, an eccentric celebrity 
would name their child. I, I could see naming a child Chevrolet Equinox. Toyota RAV4, dude. Oh my god. Imagine naming a kid Toyota RAV4. That is that is a powerful kid. Imagine a kid named Toyota RAV4, dude. I, I, I can see it in my head. That kid would be like twice the size of every other kid in like the second grade. He would terrorize the freaking sandbox, dude. That kid, that kid is a menace. Anyway, let's get back to the article because I, I, I want to see if this tactic worked out for him. I know that he named the kid Pajero Sport. I, I, this, is, this, isn't a, this isn't a new story, but I never knew if he actually got a car out of it or not. Let's see here. Kami dari MMKSI sangat bangga bisa menjadi bagian dari kehidupan keluarga Pak Muis. All right, let's see. I, I, let's translate this one. We from MMKSI are very proud to be a part of Pak Muis's family life for the popularity of Pajero Sport can be so influential in Indonesian family life so that it becomes the choice name for the birth of our beloved child. That's that's a that's a wrong translation because that's what whatever, doesn't matter. Intan here is the like the spokesperson for Mitsubishi, so it's not it's not it's not her child, it's not our beloved child, it's like their beloved child. The translation's a bit off. Mwis menceritakan betapa beliau sangat ngefans dengan Pajero Sport Manager terutama bagian break <laughs> All right, I'm translating this paragraph. This, this is a good one, dude. Intan also said that during their visit, they exchanged stories about the background of this naming and with great enthusiasm, Mois, the father of Pajero Sport, Mois told me how much he loved the latest Pajero Sport mo model, especially the brake lamp in the back. <laughs> Come on, dude. God. We, we all know what you're doing. He's like he's like pandering to the he's like pandering to Mitsubishi about how much he loves the the new model. Oh, I love the I love all of these great new features in this brand new model car, especially especially the brake light function in the back. Wow. Who cares about the brake light? Like, realistically, he's just he's just trying to pander to Mitsubishi, like trying to like you know hype them up so that in hopes that he gets. A real Pajero Sport instead of his stupid son. While traveling on his motorcycle, Moise took the time to stare at his favorite vehicle until the birth of his fourth son. Wait a minute, dude. That's his fourth son? Dude, you're not gonna get a brand new car for naming your fourth son after an SUV. Are you kidding me? If you if you want a if you want a free car, you gotta name your firstborn child after it, dude. Who cares about the fourth son? On the way he thought of a name for his son, then the name Pajero Sport was later established as his son's name. What a what an inspiring story, dude. He was on the way to the hospital where his wife was giving birth. He was he was just brainstorming names. Oh, oh what am I gonna name this new child? And then and then a Pajero Sport SUV drives by and he's like, that, that <laughs> that's a nice car. That's what I'm gonna name my child after. Anyways, the spokesperson for Mitsubishi says the hope is that your beloved son can have a tough cool and strong character in facing his life just like the character of Pajero Sport. Dude, Mitsubishi really out here taking advantage of this like obviously deranged family for for marketing. Dude. <laughs> how how could you Mitsubishi? How dare you? You've obviously have like a, you know, I don't want to say poor, but let's just, let's face the reality here. A, a not well-off family at least, you know, they they they're desperate enough to name their child after one of your products, and you turn them into a walking advertisement. Like, how could you, dude? MMKS pun memberikan tanda apresiasi bagi keluarga ini. Blah, apa tanda? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna have to translate this entire paragraph. Oh my god. MMKSI, aka Mitsubishi, whatever also gave a token of appreciation for the Mui's family because this is the first time that a family named their child with the two syllables of the product Pajero Sport, that's that's a weird translation, which signifies a deep love for the product. What is the sign of appreciation? Not the real Mitsubishi all new Pajero Sport, but Intan said that he had provided the baby equipment that was currently being needed for Pajero Sport. You didn't... He didn't even get the freaking car out of it, dude. Are you kidding me? Bruh, Mitsubishi did these people dirty. Oh my god. Are you serious? You gave him baby supplies? I mean, like, that's, you know, I don't want to underappreciate. That's still a pretty good gift, but that you couldn't at least have given them the car that they literally named their child after? 
What the hell, Mitsubishi? How much is a Pajero Sport anyway, dude? Like, obviously, it's a lot of money. But, like, in the grand scheme of things, is Mitsubishi really going to be missing one Pajero Sport that they can give away for free? Like, it's, it's, it's free marketing, dude. How, what? How could you not give someone who is willing to humiliate a human being for the rest of his life by naming him after an SUV that's not even that fancy? How could you not honor that man by giving him a car? Seriously, dude, what the hell? This could have been like an amazing, like wholesome, I don't know, it's not amazing, it's not wholesome, it's kind of cringe if anything. <laughs> But this could have been a somewhat cool story that you that your like aunt shares on Facebook that oh we they named their kid after a child you won't believe what happens next guess what they got a car out of it big surprise but like they didn't even give it to him you serious dude they spent like what two hundred dollars on diapers and baby food that's it what the hell Mitsubishi not that I was ever gonna buy a car from Mitsubishi anyway, but now I'm gonna go even farther out of my way to not buy a car from you guys. Dude, you, you ruin your chances with me. Anyways, here's some pictures, I guess. That's, uh, what's his name? Muis. That's Muis. That's Intan. That's the, that's the baby. Pajero Sport. Look at, look at the name. Look at, look at, look at Muis's faces. Face, dude. That is the face of someone who just realized that he wasted a good name on his child and he didn't even get a car out of it, dude. That, that is the face of, uh, of someone who just got played. I guess this is like the birth certificate. You can see there, it's like, uh, this isn't like, this isn't like a hoax or anything. This is, this is a real thing that happened. I love this comparison picture right here, dude. That's the baby and that's the car that he's gonna... <laughs> That he's gonna embody, that he's gonna like shape shift into when he's older. I, I don't know. Jesus, dude. Now that I've read that article, now that I know that they didn't even get a car out of this whole ordeal, this this picture just seems sad to me, dude. Like, look at look at Muis's face, and they're standing in front of a real Mitsubishi Pajero Sport, dude. That is the face of someone like that man is so defeated. Oh my god, dude. They even like, this is Intan, she brought a Mitsubishi Pajero Sport there just to rub it in his face. He's like, yeah, we, we got all the cars in the world and we're not gonna give you a single one. Thanks for naming a baby after one of our products, dumbass. Excellent, dude. For the small, small price of naming your child after one of our products, you get the very rare opportunity to take a picture in front of one of our cars. Congratulations, thanks for the free advertising, but no thanks, buddy. Restraining order. Anyways, Jesus Christ, that was an emotional roller coaster, dude. Uh, Muis, family, uh, the young Pajero Sport, all the love to you, dude, all, 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 all the prayers to you, especially to young Pajero Sport. Jesus Christ, uh, am I glad to have a normal name. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys got a kick out of it. Uh, I hope you guys have learned to uh, maybe not name your children after products because you're literally going to get nothing out of it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really want to make more videos talking about like Indonesian stories, like news stories and memes and stuff because I genuinely do believe that Indonesia is like the funniest country in the world, uh, sometimes unintentionally, but I, I really do believe that Indonesia is home to the world's greatest memers and shit posters. It's just, it's just in our DNA, but anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna be making a lot more videos seeing as if, uh, seeing as that I am going to be graduating from university soon and I am job hunting at the moment, which means I have a lot of free time uh, just sitting in front of my computer doing nothing all day. So, uh, here's hoping that I do better on YouTube or whatever. Anyways, that's gonna be it for me today. I will see you guys next time.